if you're a first time home buyer, chances are you're making some mistakes that can cost you big time. And in this video, I'm going to show you the five biggest mistakes and how to avoid them. Hi, my name is Tasha. I'm with eXp Realty. I'm a real estate agent. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the five biggest mistakes I see first time home buyers make and how to avoid those. Most people make those mistakes because they don't know any better. And with the right information, you can save a lot of money and heartache down the road. So stay tuned and I'll tell you about how to avoid those. All right. So, um, the first one is not saving, um, enough for a down payment. And I would say on the other hand, not knowing your loan options that are available to you. A lot of people think that that they have to save 20% uh, for a down payment. And that's not true. If you are a veteran or um, military, uh, you can uh, purchase a home using your VA home loan with a 0% down uh, payment. So if you did not know this, um, you, if you're a veteran military, um, you can buy a home, purchase a home with zero down. Um, there's also three and a half percent FHA loans. So that's also available. There's also other loan products that allow you to purchase with 10%, 5% and 3%. So you can purchase a home without having that 20% down. So if you do have that saved already, then it may not be a bad idea to get in touch with a lender. We have preferred lenders that we can pair you with depending on um, what product that you're looking at, but we have preferred lenders that can help you with any type of loan product that you're looking for. And we would be happy to connect them with you. So you can just comment down below and we would be happy to get you connected with them. Um, also getting emotionally attached to one home and not considering others. So this is a big mistake because in this market, you're still going to have to make about five to 10, uh, offers on homes because there's still buyers out there. The inventory still isn't where um you know it needs to be for the buyer demand because we are still in a seller's market though it's a little bit on the lower end you're still seeing a good amount of home buyers out there on the market so you're still gonna have to compete with people so make sure you're not getting attached to one specific home because then you may be setting yourself up for failure and a lot of heartache so we don't want to see that right so making sure that you're keeping your mind open and not getting too emotionally attached to one house um another thing is not getting pre-approved for mortgage. This is a big mistake. If you're looking at homes and you're not pre-approved yet, and I know you're probably used to hearing this from a lot of realtors. However, this is something you're going to need to do because of the fact that you can't submit an offer without having a pre-approval, or at least your offer won't be taken seriously by the seller. So you want to make sure that you know what you can afford and know what you're able to do. And so you want to be able to um, have that in hand before you're going out there and looking at homes because you know it can take a couple days to a week to get pre-approved so you want to you don't want to miss out on that home if you you know found the perfect home you don't want to miss out on it because you don't have a pre-approval in hand forgetting about closing costs there's closing costs whenever it comes to loans um, so you want to make sure to set aside two to three percent for your closing costs and your lender can help you um, get an idea of what those closing costs will look like. And I'm going to also add that you usually have like inspection costs and appraisal costs. People usually forget about those as they're going throughout the transaction. So we can help you get a better sense of what you um, should set aside for those additional costs. So also not budgeting for regular upkeep and repairs. When you buy a home, there's likely going to be some repairs that need to be made on it. So you want to set aside some money throughout the year, like save up some money for that additional upkeep and repairs because you're buying a home as is. The seller doesn't have to make any repairs at all. So you're going to have to budget for making some additional repairs on top of getting the house. So there are certain things that the seller doesn't have to fix and you'll want to make sure that you're budgeting for that when you're purchasing your house and um there could be things that break or things that need some upkeep that you didn't think of uh during the um you know during like your home ownership and especially if you're an, a first time home buyer you may not be aware of these things that could happen like if your uh ac breaks or um you know there's also air duct cleaning that you need to do every so often as well so there's those sort of things that people don't think about whenever they're buying homes so just make sure you keep that in mind um so those are the five biggest mistakes that i see that 
you know, people are making whenever they're, you know, thinking about buying a home. So um, if you would like to, you know, kind of discuss what your home buying goals are and see, you know, what all works for you, we would be happy to uh, chat with you. Go ahead and check out the link in the description box down below for our housing support call. And we would be happy to chat with you. And thank you so much for watching.